Kaduna State Police Command, under the leadership of uh, CP Umar Musa Muri, uh, recovered five more students and immediately informed the Kaduna State Government of the development. Uh, a medical team was raised to carry out extensive medical checkups and a preliminary psychological evaluation, and also uh, to come up with a detailed post trauma exercise after reuniting them with their families. We are of the view that uh, this is not enough. Uh, after this, uh, it is very important uh, for them uh, to undergo further uh, psychological evaluation. It's like a therapy. It's something that uh, we will need to sustain uh, in view of what they, they had gone uh, through. Uh, the governor of the state, on behalf of the government and people of the state, is elated at this development and extends best wishes uh, to the students. The governor charged the students to be strong and firm in pursuing excellence in life. He encouraged them to convert the unfortunate experience into a platform for hope, realization of dreams and aspiration for a better uh, Nigeria. Because they are students, the future of our country uh, lies with them. They have a role to play. And in view of what happened uh, to them, Kaduna State Government is optimistic that they should use this opportunity as a platform for hope and realization of their dreams. This is a, a turning point uh, as far as Kaduna State Government is concerned. Uh, the government will not relent in its work and commitment towards recovering the remaining hostages uh, by the grace of God. Uh, furthermore, uh, the governor commends the Commissioner of Police and his team. Uh, it is on this note that we hand over the five students uh, to the school uh, management onward to their parents. We want to thank the Almighty God for answering our prayers. And I want to thank all the, uh, the, all the stakeholders who are day and night working. I want to thank especially the Kaduna State Government for their relentless effort, always working day and night and giving uh, understanding with us, giving us all the necessary understanding, all the stakeholders all the management of the college, all the management of forestry research in Central Nigeria. I'm thanking all the stakeholders who I know day and night are working and we are grateful the students are back. So this is the second batch as the commissioner said earlier. So five were with us already last week and this week we have five. And I'm happy that he said they are continued night, day to be working so that to, record, to make sure that all the students are recovered safe. We are very grateful. The parents are here. Immediately after this, we are going to hand over the children, the students to parents. The school is already closed, so the parents will go ahead. Whenever they need our help concerning the students, we are very much available. I'm very grateful on behalf of the Forestry Research Institute and the Federal College of Forestry, Kaduna. We are very grateful. We are thanking Kaduna State Government, and still we need their support. As he said, 
we want them to give us full support, full cooperation until all our students are back. Thank you very much, sir. We are grateful. We thank God the Almighty that have made uh, their release possible through the stakeholder that, uh, uh, that could give them the, uh, the, the, cap the capability, the courage to see that they, we have received them today successfully. And we thank God for that. The profile of the three, stu uh, the three students, they were from, uh, from Bochi State. Their father, Elijah Aminu, uh, is the, the, the village head of Tiruun and uh, Rafi Sanyi Bochi. So uh, they were here just to undergo a six-month certificate program, which uh, they were almost uh, about to round it up. And uh, it is expected that their father encouraged them to come and do their educational, have their educational pursuit, so that at least they can be able to uh, guide, they can help him, they can help his community, his people, and the society at large, at large so that they can uh, have a better upbringing in the society. Obviously, we want them to continue. If we didn't allow our children to do education, what is our own legacy? Our future legacy is the paramount thing that we want them to do, as far as uh, we parents, as, well, as far as we are concerned. What do you think the school should do? Mm -hmm. That's how to advice. Yes. What do you think that the school should do going forward? Uh, the school should have to work toward getting uh, necessary support through the uh, stakeholders. Mm -hmm. Government should uh, assist the college in terms of uh, providing uh, much needed security so that at least it will make the environment uh, the student will really have their studies be done successfully. We have done a lot of things and we have already write an uh, exam for first semester. We have seen our result and for our second semester exam, we have been reading for it to be able to write our exam so we can, I cannot be able to, to leave the school like that. My prayer is, is that since we were out, we, we, have, we, we pray for them to be out there successful the way we, we, are, we, are, out. we are out in.